In this episode of Pharmacy Pearls, we'll review how a simple dose change can make a big difference for elderly adults experiencing iron deficiency anemia. First of all, anemia is a disorder of the blood characterized by low hemoglobin levels. Iron is a necessary ingredient for the production of hemoglobin, which is responsible for transporting oxygen to the tissues of the body. In adults still living at home, Having anemia increases the risk of being hospitalized and of dying. Unfortunately, iron deficiency anemia is common in the elderly, affecting more than 1 in 10 people age 65 or older, and more than 1 in 5 people age 85 or older. In most circumstances, treatment consists of iron supplementation therapy using oral iron salts such as ferrous gluconate, sulfate, or fumarate. The usual target dose is between 105 and 200 mg of elemental iron per day, given in divided doses. The World Health Organization, for example, recommends 120 mg daily. One problem, however, is that iron is notoriously hard on the stomach, resulting in many patients stopping treatment too soon due to common side effects like nausea and vomiting, abdominal cramps and constipation. Because of this, a 2005 randomized controlled trial published in the American Journal of Medicine sought to determine the optimal dose of iron for elderly patients with iron deficiency anemia. It included 90 participants with an average age of 85, 59% of whom were female. They were randomly assigned either 15, 50, or 150 mg of elemental iron per day and were followed closely for two months. Interestingly, at the conclusion of the study, there were no differences between the three groups in either hemoglobin or serum ferritin, which is the screening test for iron deficiency anemia. In fact, hemoglobin levels increased by the same amount in all three groups. The most clinically meaningful part of the study, though, was the difference in tolerability between high and low doses of iron. For example, for every two participants treated with 150 mg as opposed to 15 mg over two months, one additional person experienced either nausea and vomiting or abdominal cramps. Additionally, for every five participants treated with 150 mg, again as opposed to 15 mg over two months, one additional person experienced either constipation or was forced to discontinue treatment. In light of this study, it is clear that for most elderly patients with iron deficiency anemia, a low dose of 15 mg of elemental iron per day will work as well as higher doses while causing significantly fewer side effects, all of which have the potential to disrupt treatment. In order to obtain this dose, one could take half of a 300 mg ferrous gluconate tablet daily, or even one full tablet every other day, or, if liquid is preferred, 2.5 milliliters of Ferrensol syrup or 1 milliliter of Ferrensol drops could be used. In order to improve absorption, it is best to take iron on an empty stomach. Thanks for watching. Please support Pharmacy Pearls by subscribing to my YouTube channel. You can also sign up to receive my free tip of the week at www.pharmacypearls.com.